And now, your Big 2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Well, good morning, everyone. A live look here for you outside of Midland, and we got a gorgeous view out there. Even saw some birds. There, there goes one here flying around across uh, our Sky Tracker network camera, at least in front of the t uh, lenses here, as you can see. As far as our sky, looking nice out there. Got some clouds mixed in with some of that beautiful blue sky out there right now here across West Texas. We did see a few showers, though, here early this morning in parts of our area. More specifically, up towards uh, northern Andrews County right now, we're dealing with some light shower activity here just to the northwest of the city. 385 also tapping into some of that rain here as well. Meanwhile, off to the west along uh, areas like Carlsbad here in southeast New Mexico and Eddy County, we're also dealing with some very light showers here at the moment. But the rest of us here in West Texas and in southeast New Mexico, for the matter, are still very dry. We may be looking at some rainfall today developing in the afternoon as we head towards the 3 o'clock hour. As you notice, we have a couple pop-up showers and thunderstorms being picked up on the model. Even a few areas down towards Terrell County today may see a few showers and thunderstorms erupt during the afternoon. Afternoon. These are expected to diminish though as we head into early this evening and as we head into overnight conditions are looking mostly clear outside across most of West Texas and in southeast New Mexico. So uh, if you have any plans to be outside, maybe go out for a jog today like I am. It's looking a lot uh, nicer today with uh, partly cloudy conditions out there as well. So Maybe not a bad idea to bring that umbrella with you just in case uh, because we may see a 20% chance of a shower or thunderstorm as we just saw in the computer models kind of indicating that near Odessa Midland. Either way, high temperatures near 95 degrees. We should be looking at temperatures dropping down to just below 90 as we head towards the early evening. Now the rest of us in West Texas look like this as far as temperatures today into the mid 90s. So yeah, it's looking pretty good here for much of the basin and also very nice here or also very warm I should say for parts of the I-10 to I-20 corridor for areas like Wink and Pecos today picking up to near uh, the upper 90s. Even in areas like Presidio and Big Bend possibly picking up to the upper 90s to triple digits out there. And tomorrow we expect more of the same with temperatures mainly into the mid 90s, which by the way is pretty typical for this time of the year. Tonight uh, we are dropping down to the 70s outside, mostly clear skies, and we will have that southeast wind flow around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So feeling a little bit comfortable out there. Now in the tropics, we are keeping a very close eye on this uh, tropical wave located in the eastern or east, eastern Gulf of Mexico. And as you can see, it is spreading a lot of heavy rains to Florida. Even Cuba is still getting a lot of moisture as it comes up, as our rain here comes its, comes its way up from the south. And it's also rotating around what appears to be a better organizing system right now because lately we have seen the system struggle here, but we may be coming together now and we're gonna have to monitor this closely for some possible tropical development over the coming days. Uh, we're going to run through a couple models with you. This is the European model, which actually does develop the system as it moves its way into the central Gulf of Mexico by tomorrow afternoon. And then you can see it takes it near the Texas coast as we head into Saturday morning, dumping lots of heavy rain from Louisiana and towards the Texas coast here. So something that our neighbors here off to our south and east will have to watch extra carefully. And then the system will move towards the west by Sunday and it looks like that could be spreading some rain here, or at least a little bit, into West Texas. After all, we could take anything that we could possibly get with the drought that we're in here across our area. Now, this is the American model. This particular model does not strengthen it as strong as the European model does, but nonetheless still bringing some rains to parts of the Gulf Coast, including our neighbors here along the Texas coast. So this is something that still bears watching because it, as far as for us is concerned, we could be looking at some rain still being indicated by both of these models as well, even though this one here really does weaken it by the time it makes its way here into West Texas. So we got the weekend and into early next week that we may be looking at at some increased rain chances. Meanwhile, we have a brand new tropical storm in the eastern Atlantic. This is Tropical Storm Gonzalo, and this is actually forecast to become the season's first hurricane of the season by early tomorrow morning. Now it is expected to potentially impact the southern leeward islands here as we head into uh, early Saturday morning, and then it looks like it's going to weaken as it could encounter some more unfavorable uh, conditions here in the 
Central and Eastern Caribbean Sea. We'll watch this closely as well, but it looks like this is going to be a mainly a concern for our neighbors here in the Caribbean Sea. Here's a look now at your 10-day forecast, and we are going to be looking at mild weather conditions remaining in the forecast. Again, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms for the weekend. This is something that we're going to have to monitor with that disturbance that's in the Gulf of Mexico. So it all depends on the track and intensity of that system. Heading into next week, our temperatures will continue to remain mild, and so will the weather too. We may see the breezes also come up a couple of days into next week too here, Amanda. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, gotta yeah. love it. Let's hold on to these temperatures. Right. Let's hold on to the rain. Uh, definitely good to go out for a jog, but you do want to do it earlier in the day or even later in the day, so it's still right. not too hot. Exactly. Yeah.